Color calibration report. Instructions for unboxing. Putting the stand on it sucked. I didn't like that part, it was not fun. Uh, there's no Allen wrench in the box. Um, so when I initially placed the order on Friday, it said about 9.02 a.m., um, it was on sale on the Aces website store for about 10 minutes and then it sold out. Um, processing didn't finish until Wednesday and shipment began at 2 p.m from California to my residence, and today is Friday. Um, so processing time was about three days on this, business days. So it was on a Friday, didn't really count Saturday and Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, and then finally shipping on Wednesday. So uh, FedEx is the winner here, because uh, they got it to me. Anyway, let's take a look at it. I'm not gonna take this off yet, because I still have to move my desk. I guess the box too, like no one ever really shares the box. Uh, so we got the box. What are we advertising here on the box? Uh, you know, there you go. Uh, I don't know if I want to give you that QR code. I don't know if it's mine. But the box is kind of dirty. Uh, there's some dings in it, you know, which is shipping. Uh, when you're gonna to open this thing, you just pinch these little guys and they pull out, and the whole the whole top will come off. If you've never opened these type of monitors before, which I haven't, so this was my first time. Okay, so we'll go over the monitor. Um, it did have this safety film, which I'm not taking off yet, and then it was wrapped. And we got, let's see, we got our outlet for our power, and then we got black. Okay, so I think our IO is on the other side, actually. So come over to this side, pop this off. I just, oh, there's the Allen wrench, okay. So if you need to know where the Allen wrench, it's in the back panel door behind where the IO is. So it looks like you got some hooks, cable management. Okay, so this says SPDIF, uh, HDMI. I believe all the HDMIs in this are 2.1, but there's some writing on here, which is kind of cool. I don't know what these screws are for. Uh, June of 2022, this has been sitting around for a while. Okay, uh, let's see, what do we got up here? We got USB, USB, display port, HDMI, HDMI. So, uh, four HDMIs, a display port. If you already knew this, fine. I like to physically see it 
um, and, and not a lot of video. Sorry for the shaky video. Uh, I am not professional at all at this, so. Um, but there's the stand, okay? So we have the stand here, put this IO back on, probably. Yep. So the Allen wrench is located in this door panel here, kind of all snapped together flush. Okay, so my problem and issue with the stand was it literally, uh, I'm gonna see if I can get to it. So my problem with the stand is literally quite simply this. It's this whole monitor pushes into it. Then the screws are down here, right? There's four screws. This one's not seated all the way for whatever reason. I undid it and redid it and I tried to move it to a different one. And so this, this, this screw on the left-hand side of my stand was not machined properly or something. I made sure, you know, I'm fairly good at screwing things. So, but all these are flush over here. So you, you seat the, the monitor, if it's, if it's off, you're seating it like this in to the stand. Well, you can't let go. And it doesn't just sit by itself. So you wanna be careful because of your switches underneath, you don't wanna damage any of the, the buttons because that's, that's, that's the first thing that's gonna hit, right? So I would get a buddy. I wouldn't do this by yourself, um, but rubber on these. And then as I mentioned, just to follow up, from that backside end of the tripod, get my hairy arm out of there. So from that backside of the tripod, that contact point to this contact point is 10 inches to give you an idea of the width for your desk. And I don't know what this handle's all about. I mean, it just looks like a handle to me, doesn't it? Kind of just like pick it up. But anyway, so I'm gonna definitely do some more testing. I'm gonna get this giant box in the garage. And then yeah, so that is the monitor. All right, Tim Allen moment here. Pretty much everything you need to know about the unboxing. Specifically this point right here. Allen wrench is in the back panel. This last one here. Voila, ooh, look at that. It knows, it senses my presence. I'm gonna do the peel. Make sound effects. Oh, yeah. oh it's on. Like... <laughs> oh, mm, that smell. Holy smoke! Oh, let's see this. Let's just Run this over. Let's do a side shot, maybe. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's get in here. Let's. Power setting standard, yes. Power saving mode may cause limited luminance performance. Would you like to switch to standard mode? Yes. Ooh, the rock just lit up on the bottom. All right, there's the remote, here we go. Gaming overclocking, nah, probably not gonna do that. We have a refresh rate, it's on. I chose to go with HDMI 2.1. Uh, Stopwatch, game visual, racing mode, RGB mode, MOBA mode, first person mode probably. Oh, it just got a little brighter. I don't know if I like that. Shadow boost, I don't know what any of this shit is. Okay, let's go back and get back. Back, image, brightness, 90. HDR setting is grayed out. HDMI 1, 2.1. Okay, so HDMI uh, 1 and 2 are the only 2.1s. I'm glad I didn't use 4, because uh, 4 was a bitch to plug in. I didn't use a display port, because I'm not going to play in 1440p. Um, okay, so 
We have a refresh rates on. Game Plus. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Oh, I guess it's gonna be here that I change it. Oh, I'll do it up here so I can see. Um, display. And then let's exit out of this so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, yep. Okay, go away. Go away. I wanna go away. I wanna go away. You got headphones here, USB here, power button is on this side. There we go. Okay, so I couldn't get it to go with the remote. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's detect. I couldn't detect another display. And we're gonna go here. Keep these changes. Okay, and we're gonna go advanced display settings. It's at 60 hertz. We're gonna go to 120. <laughs> Keep these changes. So we got bit depth eight standard. We gotta go bit to right. Windows HDR settings, use HDR. World's first object based cinematic audio. Speakers actually sound really good. Holy shit. Wow, guys. I'm, I am impressed. I am so thoroughly impressed by this. I always like to check edges. Even though it's going to be blurry for you. Look at that. Magnificent. I'm pretty pumped. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty pumped. That looks fabulous. Even with just shitty compressed YouTube footage. Look at that fucking OLED, boys. Go to the dark side. iPhone. It's like four inches away. Pretty good. Look at this shit. Dude, I wanna play Crucible. Let me just, uh, I can't load Crucible cause it'll. Alright, so out of the box, the Asus Rock Strix OLED was fairly simple to get out. I had never gotten a monitor at this this size, and so unboxing it was eh, kind of new to me, but it was fairly easy. Uh, right out of the box, it just worked. Um, I did crank up to, I cranked up the brightness, um, I did disable power saving mode. Um, the Allen wrench in the back, uh, not looking at that yellow sheet right away kind of screwed me, but luckily I had, you know, Allen wrenches. Um, the last two parts that I shot of the message notification that shows up here to do pixel refresh, uh, I haven't found a workaround for that. Like, there's no help. Um, like, uh, quick tips or something in any of the uh, OSD settings, so I'm still kind of trying to figure out how I can get it not to say anything um, like while I'm gaming all night or whatever and then bam you know have this red box show up that tells me I have to do a pixel refresh you don't want to do pixels refreshes 
like over and over like a million times it's really hard on the, the monitor so i did today um i've been i've been gaming on this since friday i've been gaming for hours and hours um i did overclock it today i'm running at 138 hertz per uh for my frames per second i'm running in fps mode windows anytime you switch the refresh rate on the monitor windows like it recognizes it immediately um i did have one instance last night where it turned off for a few seconds the monitor just turns off um so uh i got the display software that you can get from the website i registered it and then when i tried to do the firmware update uh it won't detect the monitor that crappy software they give you to do the firmware update so this is still running on stock I guess shipped firmware. Um, I think that's it. I think that's everything I covered. I hope uh, this was a helpful video. It wasn't too annoying. Um, yeah. So check it out. Uh, the Asus ROG Strix uh, OLED. I got the 48. So I'm <laughs> sitting pretty close. But all right.